In this video, we're going to come up with the parametric equations to describe the cycloid. So the cycloid is, is this red path there. So if you have a circle of radius A and draw one particular point on, the, on that circle, as that circle rotates towards the right, it will trace out this path. Well, this path is called the cycloid. So let me show it to you. So you've got a circle here. Um, so you've got a circle here. As uh, as as the circle rotates towards the right, we trace out that that red path, and then you can change the radius of the circle, and then uh, and then it will still follow that path. So we are going to come up with the parametric equations to describe the red path. Okay. So so hang on. So the idea is uh, is this. Um, even though we're working in radians, let's just let's just imagine it in degrees, just so that I can explain it to you. So the idea is to, um, to get the whole angle here, cut it up into 360 equal pieces, 360 equal pieces. Um, so the time uh, uh, starts at zero by the time it gets to 360. So you can imagine the time as being 360. So, um, so if you get the whole angle here, let's, uh, so the whole angle here will be 2 pi cut up into 360 equal pieces. So uh, so this block here represents one segment of the angle. So uh, so if you stick a time in here, as time gets incremented, let's say three seconds, then you will jump one, two, three, um, uh, and so on. So if you have a negative time, uh, let's say negative three, so negative three of a time, means you jump in the other direction one two three so that's the idea so let's um let's uh hang on and, and also something to point out is that um this distance here is the same as the circumference so uh so this distance here is actually two pi a the circumference of the circle bear that in mind okay so so let's start hang on so let's start a new one, a uh, new one. Okay, so first step, to create a circle of radius A in, par in parametric form. That would be A cos, um, A cos, let me think, A cos T, uh, comma, A sine T. Close it off. Um, to add our slider A, so A represents the radius of our circle. Let's just say the radius ranges from 0 to 10. 0 to 10. Um, and, and, and we want t to, uh, to start from 0 to 2 pi. So 2 pi is one revolution. So now we've got our circle radius a. Radius a. So we can change a. Uh, we can change the radius of the circle. So now let's, um, let's put our particle on there. Our particle would be, um, a, a cos B, uh, our new slider, so A sine B. So hang on, add our slider B. So B, B, B is our angle, so it ranges from 0 to 2 pi, 2 pi pi. Okay, so let's, uh, let's, let's test it. So this is our particle here. So by the time it gets to 2 pi, that's one revolution. So, so our particle seems to be working. Our particle seems to be working. Hang on. So um, bear with me. OK, so now um, now the, the problem is that um, the problem is that uh, when when the angle is zero, the particle starts here. We want the particle to start at the bottom of the circle. Uh, we want the so hang on. The, we want the particle at, at the moment. Uh, the particle is currently here. We want the particle to be here. So uh, so if you look at uh, our parametric equations for for this particle, currently it's this um, a cos b comma a sine b. If we want the particle to start here, we would add uh, add uh, pi over two, and then add another pi over two, and then add another pi over two. We need to add. We need to do this. If we want the particle to start here, 
we need to we need to do this a cos um, cos b plus uh, three pi over two comma and then uh, a sine b plus three pi over two close it off close it off so we need to well we we are basically forcing so when 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 b when the angle is zero you can see that we forced the angle to um to start here so let's let's test it out now so we would need to do this where's our particle our particle is right here we need to add we need to add um we need to add three pi over two close it off and then we need to add hang on we need to add uh, we need to add 3 pi over 2 close it off um, hopefully our particle will be in the right place so when when uh, when b when the angle is zero when b is zero you can see that the particle is in the right place and then then now you can see um, yeah, so one revolution, two, by the time it gets to two pi, it will end right here. But the problem is that um, the particle is, hang on, the problem is that the particle is going, is going anti-clockwise. We want it to go clockwise because as, um, as, the, uh, as the wheel rotates, as the circle rotates, the particle is, if it's moving to the right, the particle will actually move in a clockwise direction, it, but currently our, our particle is moving. Um, hang on. Currently, currently our particle is moving in an anti uh, anti clockwise direction. We want it to move in a clockwise direction. So, um, so the trick to doing this is to get the angle. Hang on. The trick to doing this is to get the angle. Oops. Hang on. Oh, the trick to doing this is to get is to stick a minus in front of the uh, the b because as time as time increases as time gets incremented um because you you want it to go in the opposite direction so so remember when when b is one hang on, so you've got a circle we cut up into lots of pieces here when b so time is like this when b equals one it gets incremented by one when b is two it gets incremented by two but the thing is if you stick a negative in front of the b, when b is negative two, it get it will move in the opposite direction, giving you the effect that it's going clockwise. So hang on. So currently our particle is moving anti-clockwise. To get it to move in a uh, in a clockwise direction, stick a negative in front of the b. Stick a negative in front of the b, and stick a negative in front of the b over here. So now, as as you uh, as you incre as you increment b, it should move in the other direction. So later later on, we can shift the whole thing up by by the radius of the circle. So um, so currently, our particle starts here. As it as the wheel rotates later on, we're going to move everything up. But uh, as as you increment b, you can see the particle is moving in the right direction. Okay. So I will continue in the next video.